All right, so a bit more of an informal introduction to today's video. On the cutting room floor of last video, there was enough footage for two videos, so I figured I'd use that footage for today's. And then that leaves me a little bit more time to do something special next week. So I hope you enjoy it. Today we're looking at the RC20 again, this time on how you can use it on drums to get more of a punchy, aggressive feel. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys next week. I've just dropped in a drum stem from something I posted last week on my Instagram. Can you just get off of there? You little wall. Did you come and get your cat? So quite a dull drum stem, uh, very dry. So I want to create a little bit more saturation, a little bit more punch by using RC20 Retro Color. So we've got our initial patch there. Start just with a little bit of noise. So with tone, you can make it darker, brighter. And once again, I'm going to give it that kind of side chain compression feel with a little bit of ducking. Fit dad walking his dog. I want to add some distortion. And I'm going to EQ that. So we're just focusing on kind of the mid region of the drums. And I'm going to take this to the crunch preset. We didn't touch upon this before, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of the digital tab. This is essentially your bit crush effects. So I'm going to take the bits down on the left hand sides. Don't want it too crazy. I'm going to keep it relatively smooth, about 30%. Leave the uh, mix where it is. And that's quite subtle, but it's just adding a little bit of a click to the uh, snare and the kick there. And that should be able to cut through my mix a little bit more. I want to give this a bit of a plate reverb sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the decay down to about 60%. I'm going to add some pre-delay. Again, really fine tune the EQ. I don't want any massive highs there. I'm just targeting the kick and the snare. I'm actually going to keep this in mono as well. And because I want to give it that kind of lo-fi beats to study to vibe, I'm going to add some of that magnetic tape feel as well. And let's just make it a tiny bit brighter with the tone knob next to the EQ at the bottom there. So we've got our before especially with that snare, super, super dull. But now our kick and our snare are really, really punching and we've got a little bit of character with that vinyl noise in the background as well. So there you have it, a really brief overview of the RC20 in two situations where you can use it to create some real depth and character. Let me know what you'd like to see in future episodes of Inspired By. I'm currently offering one-to-one -one Zoom sessions, so if you'd like to take part in the Production Masterclass, then just drop me a message. Like and follow me at the normal stations and I'll see you guys next week.